हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय चैनल वर्ल्ड ऑफ एड ऑफ आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग गुड सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ वी कैन क्रिएट गिठा वैक्सन पाइपलाइन यूजिंग यहाँ पर सो द मेन पर्पस ऑफ ऑफ दिस वीडियो इज लाइक हाउ यूजफुल यामल इज आई जस्ट वॉन्टेड टू शो यू ओके सो आई हैव क्रिएटेड दिस रिपोजिट्री एंड I want to discuss one thing here. Like whenever you are creating your workflow file for GitHub Action, then the workflow file should be always under this workflow file. Okay? So and you can write your workflow file name like this. Dot GitHub uh, forward slash workflows directory. Okay? So let me go to the VS Code here. and create one file because i am not going to create any directory so i am going to like create only simple pipeline so i will have only one direct uh, one file here so i am not going to create any directory here so i am going to create one file with the name github okay forward slash work flows forward slash my first pipeline dot yml okay now we are going to write our code let me write it first then i will walk you through this okay so first we are writing like uh, our key okay that is name and the that key having value simple pipeline and whenever like you are uh, creating your github pipeline then you define on okay on means whenever you are like pushing pulling uh, like fetching or something uh, similar you are doing or you want to run your pipeline on that use case so i am going to run my pipeline on push whenever we are pushing any code okay to any branch or something so you can define the branch name but i am going to show you in the simple way so i am i am not defining any branch here okay so whenever any in the any branch of uh in any branch case whenever we are pushing any code okay then our pipeline will get trigger okay so this is the key this is the like uh, variable you can say but this is not actually a variable here 
this is the another use case okay so you can like you you can see right using a single event for example workflow with the following on value will run when a push is made to any branch in the workflow repository okay so the same thing i am following here so using multiple events so i am going to use only simple event one event here that is push okay so we are defining here our jobs so that is going to run cell command and it's using the ubuntu latest image from docker hub and it's the step we are going to use name checkout and usage action okay and name multi line commands and we are going to run multiple command so we have to define here pipe okay so this job have like list of object okay and in uh, in that object we have also uh, list okay so let me open the terminal get in it let me save this file first get in it get check out i want to create some other branch okay i want to create dev branch so i have created dev branch here you can see now we are on dev branch right so get add let me run git init first git add git sorry git commit hyphen m then our commit message okay then i am going to write simple pipe line okay press enter then we are going to push this code to our repository git push hyphen u origin okay that is step so we have successfully pushed this pipeline to our repository so now let's go back to our repository and see what is happening there so just click on action and you can see our pipeline is running and it succeeded succeeded right go here okay so it's uh, like saying warning okay so we have to use node 12 but that is not the like uh, any issue you can use anything you can use alpine as well so what is it's doing so we have defined multi line command and it's checking the node version that is uh, 18.18.0 okay and we are also checking the npm version that is 9.8.1 so we have successfully created our pipeline using yaml so that's it for this video i hope you found this video informative and helpful and you understand how useful yaml is okay and uh, if you are working as a devops engineer and you want to work as a devops engineer then you must know yaml language to write all the pipeline and prometheus and uh, and civil um, file you can create using yaml okay so don't forget to subscribe my channel if you have any query then do let me know in the comment section thanks thanks for watching see you in the next video